specifically with Third Coast Coach, here today to give you a tip about sustainability and sustainable living. So today I want to talk about cast iron. <laughs> oh, the great cast iron. <laughs> okay, so why, why is cast iron good? Why is this a good choice? Um, and why is it a good choice specific to sustainability? Well, a couple things. Um, first, it lasts a long time. That's probably the, the reason that's most closely related to sustainability is, well, there's two things really. Uh, it lasts a long time. It's not gonna it break. A lot of the skillets that are out there um, have a tendency to break. Maybe the handle breaks, falls off. Um, they're coated with uh, uh, chemicals that can leach into your food uh, for the nonstick. And I know there's a, there's a lot of uh, better products out there now than there used to be. So it seems like they're making some improvements um, in the skill uh, options for skillets and nonstick. But cast iron has um, been around for a long time. It is tried and true. And it makes your food taste really good. It's very versatile. You can use it on the stove and it can go directly into the oven. Um, so that's you know super handy. So cast iron. Okay, if you have never seen somebody use or care for a cast iron skillet, um, it might seem a little overwhelming or daunting because there are things you have to do to care for it. But once you get used to it and you learn, um, it's really not that big of a deal. In fact, it may become uh, one of your favorite home care activities. So um, a little bit about how to care for cast iron. Now, what I'm seeing, a lot of the skillets on the market right now actually come pre-season. So seasoning is just a coating of oil that's baked onto the surface of the iron. And what that does is it creates a coating that allows it to have its um, amazing nonstick properties. So a lot of them are coming pre-seasoned. Um, even for the ones that are pre-seasoned in time, you're probably going to have to re-season it. And then if your skillet is not pre-seasoned, you're going to want to season it before you use it. So how to season a skillet? Well, if you're using a brand new skillet, there's not a whole lot of prep work you need to do. You just need to make sure it's dry. Um, give it a good rinse in hot water um, and then dry it. If your skillet is old or if you've gotten a hold of a secondhand skillet, you want to prep it a little bit. If there's any food or uh, crusty stuff on the skillet itself, you want to get that off. So you can use salt. Salt is really good for the cast iron to help um, as an abrasive uh, property to get any kind of crusty material off your skillet. Um, if it's rusted, you're going to want to use like a, a Brillo pad to get the rust off and then obviously give it a good washing in hot water. I would not recommend soap but um, do use hot water to, to wash it and give it a good rinse. So once your skillet is clean, you're going to want to make sure it's dry. So get a good um, towel, dry towel, and make sure it's good and dry. Then you're going to get give it a coating of oil. So I just use my little oil rags and um, you know I smooth the oil all over the skillet. Not a super thick coat. You want it to be kind of thin, otherwise it's going to get gunky. So thin coating of oil and make sure you get the entire skillet so get the handle get the back of the skillet the whole thing and then you're going to place it in a preheated 350 degree oven uh, for an hour you're going to bake it and you're going to bake it upside down so if anything drips um, it's not if anything needs to drip it's not going to just pool and collect inside the skillet it's going to drip down so upside down you might want to put um, something under the skillet to catch the oil, um, some foil, or a pan, or something underneath to catch the oil. So once uh, you've baked it for an hour, then you want to turn off the oven and leave the skillet in there. Let it cool in the oven with the oven as the oven cools. So that's going to allow it to cool down gradually versus pulling it out and having it um, cool down fast. So. Once you're finished and it's cooled down, take it out and repeat that process one more time. 
and then you have a good seasoned skillet. Now, depending on the usage, um, you're going to have to do this at least probably a couple times a year. Um, I think I season mine two, maybe three, just depending on you know the use um, and how I've used the skillet. Uh, two to three times a year, I do this, so not not too big of a deal. And there is something you can do on a daily basis as you're using your skillet to help reduce the amount of times you have to reseason and to just in general care for your skillet. So again, any kind of crusted on food, use salt, uh, use hot water, don't use soap. When you're done washing your skillet, give it a good drying with a good towel, good dry towel. Get all the water off of it. If you leave any water on it, um, you know, of course it's going to rust. Okay? And you don't want the rust. So once you've dried it really well, then you want to go ahead and give just the inside of the skillet a thin coating of oil, up the sides, you know, in the, the, the base of the skillet, and heat it on your burner until it smokes, okay, and then turn it off and then just set it in the back and let it cool. So what that's going to do is just kind of help maintain that seasoning coating on the skillet, and I get heating the oil up to the smoking point, um, it's not going to go rancid on you and it'll be safe to leave it in the skillet. Okay, so there is your tip today on cast iron. There's a whole lot of information out there, um, obviously, on cast iron, on um, how to use it, how to care for it, if you want more information. Uh, a lot of people have other good tips and ideas, too, on how to care for skillet. This is personally what I have found to work for me. And uh, you can also do uh, more research on cast iron itself, how, the, how they're made. It's really interesting. Um, and some of the history behind cast iron. So I hope that was very helpful to you. I wish you much luck, and I hope you have a good day.